All right, guys. <clears throat> you can see that I've completed both of my value scales up here. This one I use the B pencil, this one I use the H pencil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and complete this value scale. Um, and this one is all about blending. So hopefully I can get it on the first try. Um, your 4B pencil may be a lot easier to use on this one. So that's what I'm gonna personally use um, instead of the H. Then you also have another tool in your supply kit and it's this. Um, and this is called a tortillion, and it's actually just a graphite blender. So I'm going to show you how you use this and how you use it correctly um, on this scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to be kind of replicating this, but instead of doing boxes, we're going to do one continuous fade. So I'm going to start over at the 10 side um, because I like kind of establishing my dark first and then... I will release my pressure more and more and more until I get it nice and light over there. You, it doesn't really matter what side you start on, and even sometimes I like to flip back and forth. So I might start at the 10 and kind of end somewhere around the 6 and then pick up at 1 and then color over that way. Just kind of whatever is easier for you, okay? So at the 10, you want that to be as dark as you can possibly get it. So really using a lot of pressure. And it might take a few times of like going kind of back and forth and layering on top of itself. And <clears throat> I might color outside the lines a little bit and then I'll show you how you clean it up. So about right here, halfway in between nine and 10, I want to start lessening my pressure a little bit more, but I still want to try and match up here. So right now I'm kind of hitting an eight in this area. So I'm going to go over that. And if I start going outside the lines, that's okay. I'm gonna, I'll come back and show you how you can clean that up. Okay. So eight, I'm going to start lessening my pressure up there. And I'm looking, going to reference up here. That's pretty, pretty close. Okay, so now I'm about halfway through seven and eight. I want to lessen my pressure up even more. And I'm going to kind of fill that in. And I'm kind of referencing back up there. It's pretty close. Okay, so lesson coming up on six. So I want to lessen my pressure more. I have kind of like a line right there, so I want to take that out. So you can kind of see right in here, added a little bit too much pressure, so you can kind of see a little band of darkness right there. Okay, so now for five, I should be pretty light. So I'm going to go ahead and make a switch, and I am going to come over here to one and then work my way over. So I'm going to move my pencil out where I'm holding it at the very end. I'm going to kind of start in between zero and one. And it should be really light. I'm going to kind of bring my fingers up just a little bit more so I have a little more control. Okay, I'm starting to go just a little too dark for two. So I'm going to back up my pressure. And then here we go for three. Okay, I'm gonna press down some more pressure for four. And then now that I'm moving into five, just a little bit more pressure. And then I should meet there in the middle. Okay, so you should have a nice gradual fade. Now I'm gonna take this tortillion and you do not use it on its point. These are really fragile, okay? So like they like to unravel here. You can just tape that up if it starts doing that. And then you don't use it on its point. You use it on its side like this. So you kind of have to hold it a little differently. So I'm going to use this tortillion to start smoothing out all this graphite. 
and get it nice and blended. And it's probably gonna go a little bit darker on you. That's usually what happens. So kind of notice that I change the direction of the tortillion every now and again. And then just like your pencil, when you start moving into your lighter values, you lessen your pressure more and more so that you're not getting things too dark. Okay, so really, really light. I'm just now barely running it over the paper here. Just to kind of have that nice and smooth. Now, clean up. If you went outside your lines, just take your eraser and clean up all those hairy lines there. Okay, so that's it for this faded scale here. Now I'm gonna move on to the sphere and I'm gonna make another different video for that.